first, before we start, let's play some music to set the tone. Here's one of my favorites from the market basket measure. Ah, side A is a must. Market basket measure is a handful to say, so let's refer to it as the MBM for the remainder of this video. Good? Side A gives us a historical perspective on the MBM, so bear with me. History is fundamental to understanding why the MBM is so important. I love track one. It breaks down the MBM. And what we need to know is that it was originally created in the early 2000s to reflect differences in living costs across Canada. And now it's Canada's official poverty line. As the MBM name would suggest, it is a basket of goods and services meant to represent a modest, basic standard of living in Canada. The basket has five main components. Shelter, food, clothing, transportation, and other necessities. Important stuff, folks. Stay with me, this part of the song is super interesting. Let's break them down. To help, the Thompsons. Bob and his wife Dana, their 13-year-old son Brad, and 9-year-old daughter Beth. Nice family, huh? Okay, back to it. This beautiful family needs shelter, food, clothing, transportation, and a few other things. The MBM, wherever appropriate, is built upon pre-existing standards for Canadian families. For example, shelter is based on the cost of a three-bedroom, non-subsidized rental unit and not in need of major repairs, bringing it in line with Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation's national occupancy standards. It also includes the cost of utilities, appliances, and insurance. Now, food. Come to think of it, I'm kind of hungry. Anyways, okay, so food is based on Health Canada's most recent National Nutritious Food Basket, which is a list of foods meant to represent a healthy diet. We're talking fruits, vegetables, meat, dairy, plant-based sources of protein, grains, and fats. Clothing is based on the most recent Winnipeg Harvest Acceptable Living Level Clothing Basket, which is a list of clothing and footwear essential for everyday work, school, and social occasions. The transportation component is based on the combination of costs for both owning and operating a vehicle, as well as using public transportation, depending on the availability of public transportation. Last but not least, the other necessities component does not price specific items, but is instead calculated as a percentage of the costs associated with the food and clothing components. This gives the component the flexibility to represent the cost of items deemed to be necessities for different family types. Time to flip that record. You see, the costs of these five components are added up to produce a MBM threshold, which is considered to be the minimum amount of money required by a family to have a modest, basic standard of living above the poverty line. Which, I should mention, varies from coast to coast and between rural and urban communities because costs do differ. Basket costs are adjusted every year to account for inflation, while the basket undergoes a complete review and update every five years. It's that important we stay on top of this. Now, let's talk disposable income. It matters because it is the income a family has left over to purchase the goods and services found in the MBM basket after unavoidable expenses have been deducted. Disposable income encompasses so much. Check this out. Feel free to hit pause. Okay, I'll do it quickly for you because, well, I can. Due to varying and shared costs for different sizes of families, a family's disposable income is adjusted and then compared to their MBM threshold to determine their poverty status. What's that, you say? Homeowners face different costs than renters? Don't worry, the MBM takes that into account too. So basically, if a family's disposable income is less than the MBM threshold for their region, then they're considered to be living below the poverty line. This, in a nutshell, is what the MBM tells us about people across the nation. That's why it was so important that we played this record for you. And of course, as always, there's so much more to say. To learn more, please email us at statcan.mbm-mpc.statcan at statcan.gc.ca.